Good day, folks. How are you doing? Welcome back to Film Time for another dose of TLC's medical hit reality series, My 600 Pound Life. So, today, we'll be talking about seven times Dr. Now was super cruel to patients on My 600 Pound Life. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Number one, James King. James is regarded as one of the most controversial stars on the show. While Dr. Now is known for his calm personality, some patients bring out the cruel, sarcastic side of the elderly doctor. And James King was one of those patients. James weighed over 700 pounds when he made his debut on the show. And even though James had to rely on his wife and kids to take care of him, he was still a difficult patient. James brought out the cruel side of Dr. Now when the elderly doctor savagely told him, you don't need food. You've eaten 800 pounds of food in ya. The doctor also told James if he thought the hospital was his hotel. After James had asked for a trapeze for him to hold on to as he wanted to stop lying in bed flat. Seems like Dr. Now was not in a giving mood. Number two, Stephen Ashanti. Another controversial star of the show was Stephen Ashanti. Some would even argue Stephen was perhaps the most controversial star. From manipulating his father to bullying his brother and the staff, Stephen had the temper of all the patients of the show combined. So it's no surprise he managed to bring out the savage side of Dr. Now too. In a particular situation, Dr. Now got frustrated enough to put Stephen into a mirror to cruelly remind him he doesn't look human anymore as his legs now look like elephant legs. Ouch. Number three, Joyce Del Viscovo. Sounds like the name of a villain in an indie production, doesn't it? Perhaps Joyce was the villain in her story, at least while on the program with Dr. Now. Joyce made her debut weighing over 700 pounds in the show's seventh season and managed to bring out Dr. Now's temper as often as she could. Joyce always managed to scream at her caretakers to bring her food, disregarding Dr. Now's demand that she at least lose 50 pounds per month. When Dr. Now had confronted her, she replied that she hadn't eaten all day, by which Dr. Now savagely responded it was okay since she had eaten the food for the next three years in advance. Oof. Number four, Angie J. Angela Marie Dunham John, popularly referred to as Angie J, was perhaps another controversial star Dr. Now was unfortunate enough to take in as a patient. Angela weighed over 600 pounds when she appeared in the show's seventh season and managed to make Dr. Now frustrated every now and then. One of the most striking moments on the show was Dr. Now's video call with Angie, where she kept dropping truth bombs that might sound really cruel. From implying Angie doesn't think to rudely calling off the call, the two sure bring out the worst in each other. Number 5. Shanae Murray Shanae Murray was one of those patients that made the show quite entertaining to watch, as her antics provided hilarious content that eventually got to Dr. Now's nerves. Shanae appeared in the show's sixth season and weighed over 700 pounds. Despite a traumatic past that led her to food addiction, Shanae remained one of Dr. Now's most difficult patients. In a frustrating moment when Shanae had condescendingly asked Dr. Now if he believed in God, Dr. Now had savagely responded even though he believes in God, he doesn't think God will save her if she throws herself off a building, which is quite cruel to a woman who can't even leave her bed. Number 6. Mercedes Cephas Mercedes was one of those patients that proved even if these patients had the best support, some of them are just too delusional and manipulative to turn their life around. Mercedes weighed over 700 pounds when she made her debut, but her excuses eventually got her into problems with Dr. Now, who eventually lost his patience with her and dismissed her from the program. Number 7. Angela Gutierrez At over 600 pounds, Angela was one of those patients that had quite the determination to lose weight at the initial stage, but it didn't take long to realize Angela was all talk and was not ready to put in the work. She was combative and refused to follow any of Dr. Now's instructions. Dr. Now did not mince his frustrations when he told her she will eventually die if she continues to be obstinate, but Angela eventually dropped out of the program, 
When she revealed to Dr. Now she had lost 120 pounds since leaving the program, the doctor had savagely told her she was delusional. There you have it, guys. Seven times Dr. Now was super cruel to patients on my 600 pound life. Did you enjoy the video? Share your thoughts about Dr. Now with others in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please do not hesitate to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. You can also turn on the bell icon to get notified of our future posts. We hope to see you again soon. Adios.